Successfully incorporating functionality and modern office chic into a 1930s warehouse is an exacting task. Add to this the requirement for energy efficiency credentials and you have the makings of a modern classic. In this edition of NDY TV, we explore why the Buckley Building in London is widely heralded as a leading exemplar on the merits of refurbishment over rebuilding. Located in the heart of Clerkenwell, within the London borough of Islington, Buckley Building has enjoyed a rich history. Buckley was a lovely industrial building, which is sometimes hard to find in, in sort of centre of London. And it, I believe it was built around 1935-36, and it was a printing and paper factory. And it was refurbished in 1980-odd and that was the time they introduced an atrium into the building. There was originally a light well in the middle of the building and because we were on an island site here, windows all four sides and some great floor to ceiling volumes, we knew that actually the light well wasn't actually required. So by filling in the light wells we create amazing floor spaces, about 16,000 square foot on the floor plates with windows all the way round. From NDY's perspective, there was the expectation to deliver quality solutions for Derwent London following the success of the multi-award winning Angel Building. Prior to the refurbishment, the building was tired, inefficient and lacking in presence. But with the vision of Derwent London and Buckley Gray Yeoman and some engineering smarts, the 1980s cosmetics were stripped away, the atria was enlivened and the amenities modernised. So having stripped the building back to its historic warehouse and the, the roughness, the rawness of the brickwork, the exposed concrete, the exposed steel, we really wanted to inject a slightly warmer, more precise feel to the new elements of the building. So you'll see detailing in the brass work of the handrails, the staircases, the precast uh, elements of the desk, the steel work, the leather. All of the new elements were very, very precise and very elegant to offset the robustness and rawness of the original building. Details such as shadow gaps to conceal return air paths and a hit and miss brickwork detail beneath the stairs of the reception were used to avoid unsightly grills. And lighting solutions developed with the architect ensured that every building element was carefully considered. The refurbishment of Buckley Building was embraced by Derwent London and the design team as an opportunity to embed the latest in environmental credentials. The overall concept of the building is one of simplicity. The services strategy is uncomplicated and robust, enabling optimum internal conditions to be achieved. The result, a high quality, energy efficient and flexible office building. You're saving enormous amounts of embodied carbon by actually reusing existing structure. Also the fabric on the outside of the building here, the brickwork, the windows. We, we try to always reuse as much as possible, but also then in terms of putting in new, more efficient M&E systems, that's key to it as well. A combination of active and passive design principles were incorporated into the scheme, ensuring that sustainability targets were achieved. Retaining the existing steel crittle windows was crucial to maintaining the character of the building, but to comply with building regulations requirements on energy conservation and to reduce solar gains, a high performance facade solution had to be achieved. The design team's challenge was to find a high solar performance glazing system that could be installed within the existing frames creating a new workplace that's green and meets all the current day standards is absolutely paramount. And here, we always try to strive to use openable windows. So we're going for a mixed mode system that works with the openable windows. Uh, in, a, in a location like this, you can open the windows. There's no reason why you can't. And everything sits together to achieve those high Brian credentials. One of the key elements of this building is that it's an island site. So you have daylight coming into the building from all the way around, which made the daylight, the natural daylight levels really high. Part of our design ethos at Derwent is volume and light. And we learnt it from a very early stage and it's hard to build buildings with volume and light because of all the restrictions and average office heights. So when you come across an industrial building and you're able to convert it into a workspace, then um, you, you relish the opportunity. In addition to passive measures such as the glazing and thermal insulation, significant attention was given to selection of an appropriate 
heating and comfort cooling system. A tailored on-floor displacement ventilation system was selected and offers comfort cooling to the office space as well as providing flexibility to the occupiers and zonal temperature control. Occupants also have the option to use natural ventilation when external conditions are favourable. Every aspect of the refurbishment was given attention to detail. The biggest single thing we did was to choose the displacement air system, which is under floor. I mean, it's a very energy efficient system, but it also helps to conceal the workings of the cooling and heating systems. That was a key part of the engineering aspect of the project and achieving the, the sustainability aspect that we did. We actually achieved uh, Brian Very Good and EPCB, which is a fantastic achievement. And in that way, we've got systems in the building that enable the occupier to make use of mixed mode, openable windows, natural ventilation. And for us, it's all part of creating this new modern type workplace that's very desirable. There was a clear focus from Derwent London and the design and construct teams on the importance of collaboration. The collaboration between uh, Buckley Gray Yeomany Architects and NDY and the structural engineers, Hain Tillis Steel, was, was, was actually key to the success of the project. This is one of the few projects in my 20 year history in London that has been so collaborative. And the client, the engineers, the architects, the whole team, particularly NDY, took a holistic view of the, the, the building as a whole. That collaboration, um, coupled with the fact that um, the, the building engine, if you like, the services, were not necessarily all, all on show. And that takes a lot of work and a lot of collaboration to, to, to conceal the, the engine of the building. I don't think you need a prize for a building like that, although it's won a few. I think you get the prize personally and the fulfilment individually and as a team because as you probably know it takes a lot of hard work getting there. It's not just the architect, the engineers who, who play a massive part, often the unsung heroes of a project. With St James Church at its epicentre, Clerkenwell Green presents an image of the quintessential London village. In previous centuries, Clerkenwell Green was a hub for specialised crafts and manufacturers, a home for artisans and craftsmen. Here at the Buckley Building, there's been a seamless blending of this historic fabric with the range of contemporary styles and materials, and the latest in energy efficiency credentials. The tradition of craftsmanship and attention to detail remains very much alive here in London.